Hello everyone. Hi guys. Everyone, sorry. I think we had a technical difficulty there. I'm not sure why, but I think the browser glitched out. I really apologize about that. Um, well, I'm back and now we have a stitched stream series and I'm not really <laughs> excited about that, but I don't know. There's nothing I can really do about it. Um, hey, bro. Hello. I really hope everybody joins again. I really don't know why I couldn't see the chat. Uh, let me type something and then check if you can see it. Now. Please do, bro. Please do. Have you typed something? Yep. But isn't there a delay anyway? I don't know, hey? I still can't see anything. Let's give it some time. It's wonderful. Just freaking wonderful. Do you plan to pull out anyway then? Pardon bro, can you repeat that? What are your plans anyway for the house? I still can't see the chat, eh? This is really frustrating me. I need to fix this before I'm gonna continue streaming. I really don't know why I can't see any chat. Should I not be able to chat as well? You should be able to chat, I think. I don't know, I've never streamed. Hey guys, good to see you guys back. Sorry, we're still just trying to fix a few technical difficulties. I've popped out the chat. Oh wow, that has literally fixed everything. Oh my word. Nice, getting back to business. Yeah, back to business. I'm so sorry about that, guys. I have no idea what happened there. You know, we're trying hard. This is the second stream in my life. Technically, it's the third one now because of the... <laughs> that one doesn't count. The, the, yeah. Hi, everyone. It's really nice to see you guys here. <laughs> I feel so bad about the first glitch. The, yeah. Um, I have no idea how I'm going to pronounce your name. But Lady Sandrea, I hope that's how you pronounce your name. Um, it's nice to have you in the stream. Um, Chip, yeah, Chip's my brother, he's here, it's so nice to have you, yeah bro, he's supposed to keep the chat alive, um, and I have to learn how to build while I'm talking to you guys. Still a noob yeah. at that, and then, um, Bishal, I think you were in the stream last time as well, it's nice to have you here again, I hope you enjoy the stream, please let me know if there's anything you'd like me to add to the build. Also, I'd like to apologize to you guys here, dogs barking in the background. <laughs> uh, we can't really do anything about that. <laughs> cool. Alright, I had a bit of a latency issue as well, so I had to reduce the latency, so there's going to be a bit of delay with the live interaction. Please just keep that in mind. We don't have the best internet, and we're also streaming from South Africa, so it might take a while to reach here for the, the video and the sound to reach you guys. Alright. So I'm gonna just, I wanna finish the the floors. Do you guys have any advice for me what to do with the floor? Should I wrap it? Um, like I said, I, I have no idea what you've guys typed before. I'm so sorry about that. So please just let me know again. Um, this will then be the dining in the kitchen. It's a massive dining now that I think about it. I really do want to have some sort of uh, shadow line over here and I'm thinking about using um, the sticking with quartz. I think it would be better to break it like this. I'm not keen on that over there. Don't know how I'm going to deal with that. I'm not sure if that's any better. Hey Benny, <laughs> welcome. 
You want me to make the start with the swimming pool before I'm finished with the house? I think a swimming pool is cool. I mean, it's anyway going to be bolt in, isn't it? Where are you going to put it? We need to give the people what they want. Needs a pool. <laughs> so we're going to do the pool. Um, just check the aquarium place entrance thing out quick. Again. All right. Yeah. Looks again. So this is the... Um, the water feature at the entrance, you'd walk over this. Water will be pouring out of this, yeah. And this is the entrance um, aquarium slash waterfall feature that wraps down the wall, double volume, and then underneath the entrance like that. Hi, right, Bur. You happy? Yeah, I'm happy. All right. So how big are you gonna make this pool? How big? Very big. Yeah. <laughs> to be big. So the thing is, a lot of times, um, uh, I see that Lady Sandrea mentioned that somebody's asking for a waterfall to a waterfall to go into the pool. I I think I did plan that previously, and I might include that from this level over here, in front of the kitchen scullery where you don't really need access into the swimming pool or to the swimming pool area so I might have the waterfall feature coming from here into the pool secondly to um, not identify but to see how big the pool needs to be I first need to get the zoning done and to see how big the outdoor patio is going to be so that's kind of what I'm doing now, but for that to happen, I need to finish the inside. Uh, I'm going to use my trusty wand. Don't judge me, please, guys. He's cheating. You guys didn't see anything. Bam! Done. Hey? I'm gonna report you. I don't know who, but I'm gonna report you. <laughs> you wanna report me? I'm thinking that, alright, this is the back wall for the kitchen. I think there will be something like this, if I'm being honest, here. And then this being the scullery, there might be something like that. There might be a wall here. There might be a back wall here for the sanitary items. Yes, Cam, hey see. Cam, it's so good to see you. Yeah, yeah, I can't see, I can't see man. I can see, yeah. All right, I don't know if I did, if I messed something up here. But I think I left two blocks and then there would be something like that. And then we would have your kitchen, your bottles in your kitchen. And then I think I'd leave a gap. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I could potentially move this back one and I think I'm going to... I don't see the reason. Yeah, no, I need to. The reason why I'm moving it back is because I'd want to put um, banners or something on the edges here and have a single island here so it's not too cramped. Uh, I'm going to avoid using that tool. I'm just using a normal quartz block here because I want the kitchen, um, the counters and all of that to be the feature to stick out. So this is what we would refer, refer to as a wet or back kitchen, also a scullery. But yeah, this would be a, a di display or front kitchen. Potentially move this back one more, but we'll see how things go. Do you guys have any requests or advice? I did see that Michelle wants us to put carpets down. We will do that in due time when we get to the decoration of the of the house. But we have the basic planning set out now. 
think that I actually need to bring some light um, lighting in here. This would be a weather line over here. I think that we need to bring this wooden elements down as well. I'm not sure how it's going to read. Um, I would I would want them to line up here. So I know that we worked in patterns of three previously. This might be a, a, a five or a seven. But I would want to break this. <laughs> it's your birthday tomorrow, Cam, and you need a new PC. Speaking of Cam, you requested me to use the um, dark, uh, dark oak wood. So, happy birthday. <laughs> that suggested that that's cool i think so if i remember correctly the dark oak does look cool though does that line up something doesn't feel quite right I'm not, this has to step here there needs to be articulation between those elements i oof, i don't know what to do there also i think i've messed up What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this out here. Happy birthday in advance. Okay. If I could buy you all pieces, I would. Maybe one day. Yeah, we'll have to see how about that how that goes. Yeah, we we'll see how things go with the channel. Yeah, but happy birthday, Cam. Hope it's a great one. Do you think there's at all a chance that you get a new PC? Or um, is it something that you're going to have to buy for yourself? So what I'm doing is I'm creating a step between the floor and the feature element here. This is the glazing line where the... Um, I mentioned that before where the glass would go that I would like to keep this um, open visually to see through the building here where the uh, patio would be and the pool and I think we could do an extremely nice garden or some landscaping here I think that will create a very nice effect this wall will be brought up all the way thinking about how I can incorporate some sort of detailing in this wall so it doesn't look so bland. We might put some shadow lines in here. Not sure how that's going to look but it, 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 it helps to emphasize the um, floating aspect of the house. I suppose we need to do that here as well. I'm not sure what that looks like. I really don't know. I've never done that before, if I'm being honest. This is the first time. So we're going to finish this. You know what? I'm going to break that and include this so that it'll be ready for when we bring the tutorial out. Cam's getting a car for his birthday and a PC, maybe. Well, you're lucky, Cam. More stuff. <laughs> you're lucky. I'm actually trying to buy myself a car. <laughs> That's taking a while. <laughs> I don't know anybody who would want to buy me a car for my birthday. <laughs> Shout out to Elon Musk. I wouldn't mind a Tesla. How are you going to charge it here though? Solar power. I want a Tesla, um, tes I want the solar panels and then I also want that, oof, I don't know what you call it, we don't really have that in, in South Africa. Like a wall power unit, something like that. 
And Elon Musk is ironically from South Africa. Not that he owes us anything, but you know. One, two, three, four, five, six. You see, now we have six going here, and this is frustrating me so much. Oh, I need to bring a seventh one out that way. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I need to take it back one. Something is not making sense to me, to be honest. You want me to build an aquarium? But there's, a or and there's an aquarium in the front there. Oh, I see what's wrong. This is wrong. By the way, Cam says you should build solar pa uh, panels on the house. I suppose I could. How would you build that? Use carpet maybe? Or like slabs? I you need a reflective block, don't you? Yes, do you get reflective block? That kind of looks like a solar panel. <laughs> you <pop> the slabs? <laughs> yeah, but it's gener they're generally black in color. Yeah, that's true. This is the best song I ever built. <laughs> <College tapes, right? laughs> oh, this block is driving me crazy. I don't know what to do with it. It's frustrating me. So much. Hey, don't hate on the song. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna go to seven. I feel like we really have to get going. Just a lot of talking and not a lot of building. Oh, that that's is nice massive. Let's line it up here so I can sleep tonight. Do we need to? Does my OCD trigger? No. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Eventually. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. So there would be glass here. I'm thinking that this would finish up like that. Um, you know what? I'm going to remove that block there. This needs to finish up like that. And then to get to the kitchen, you would walk through here. I think that we could afford this. But here's the next problem. Swag, uh, swag cam. <laughs> Cam's asking for iron doors on the house. So would that be in the interior, Cam? Over here. And not the wooden doors. I still wish they would bring out glass doors for... In, in Minecraft for these modern builds. I think a glass door will be amazing even in your survival house because then you could look through if there's like a creep or something there. This is so true. Like the spruce doors are just solid blocks. You can't see not you can't see through them. Exactly. And and I'm not a big fan of the a fan of the oak doors. Glass would just suit the whole aesthetic. Now, next thing. If this is the passage, this is the tightest passage I've ever seen in my life, if I'm being honest. This um, kitchen is looking a bit uh, wonky, if I'm being honest. But no, who's gonna know? Nobody needs to know. <laughs> so we're just gonna do that. I think that this would be the passage, like I said. I don't think anybody needs to move out here. Now that I think about it, lining the water feature up, the waterfall over here, could look quite cool in line with that element at the top of there. Down there. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that we also need to finish this up here. Basically what I'm doing is I'm going to try and build the kitchen unit in there and this frames it. Same with this, it frames that. And then this, I've framed it like that over there. I like using calcite for this. It's something that I've discovered quite recently. And um, to me it looks closer to marble than what quartz does. I don't know if quartz is 
it's supposed to look like marble but in any case I just prefer this right I'm gonna do that we leave some space to walk here we'll see how the chairs work and then basically this is just going to be glazed and what I like doing for these these types of balls is just creating the idea that there would be glazing here or like a, a large sliding glass door so I don't build it all the way because I don't know if you would actually build a modern house like this in survival to live in you know to, to play um, survival Minecraft man I hate placing glass panes it's such a pain you made that exact same pun last time and I almost fell for it again that joke <laughs> Anyway, um, I think I need to bring some sort of structural support here. Guys, if you haven't noticed, this is a detail that we started adding in our recent tutorials. And I really like it a lot. Alright, so. Glass, corner glass detail here to emphasize the, the floating effect of the house. I'm not sure why we did it as four blocks high. That might be because I wanted to add a bulkhead detail. Maybe it was to um, fit the proportion of the design. I think I might just go ahead and glaze all of this. Um, oh, thanks, Lady Sandrea. There's such a delay. I'm not sure what detail you are referring to, if I'm being honest. I think it might be the uh, leaves hanging. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think, I don't know. That's something that uh, one of the subscribers actually um, helped me do and now we are using it in all of our videos. Is that the detail you were speaking about initially though? Yes, this. Oh. The greenery draping off of the first floor balcony. Oh, I see that we actually went further and if you guys would like to see carpet at the top and then trapdoors at the side. I love um, spruce trapdoors, the look and the combination that they have with um, the contrast that they have with quartz and I think they match the dark oak wood very nicely as well. What do you guys think? Well, you let me know. I'm going to continue just building. Oh, it's such a pain. I'm gonna continue. It's such a pain. How does that even happen? I really need to practice my building skills. All right. We have the illusion of glass doors here as well. I think they would slide and stack from the central point there over here and then quite potentially all the way and stack here because nobody will theoretically, I'm talking about real life now, need to go out the kitchen here or here. And if I think about it, this might need actually this might actually need to be screened because you wouldn't want the back of your house, we call it back of house, to be visually linked to your entertainment or let's call it public areas. So we might need to think of some sort of screening detail there and quite possibly this oak trap door. I might use that there. I don't know if anybody else has a better idea for now. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna incorporate that, but we might just put a column here and then just use these here. Bro, do you have any suggestions? I've got nothing. You've been watching MachiWorks tutorials for two years and you have no idea. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sure someone in the chat does have ideas there. Surely, right. Let's wait and see. We'll have some garden area out that side, and we actually need to start looking at lighting. Swag has. Why am I calling Cam Swag? Because <laughs> it's got a lot of swag. Shoot, That's Cam. Cam for you. Let me know. So 
basically what I'm doing is I'm just placing these over here and I find it easier just to keep shifting and place them on top of each other get that task over and done with so I don't know what you guys think about that but I I hope you understand what I mean with oh this is tight with what I mean by oh that looks quite pretty by it's screening to a, a certain extent while we wait for cam suggestions I think I'm going to continue and what I would like to do is previously we spoke about um, articulating the design uh, the facade and also creating shadow lines so what I'm doing is over here I'm kind of creating like a step up and not just having a flush um, block a square block there thanks thanks ladies Andrea so you would you would see this detail in a lot of the mochi works bolts I don't really see it a lot online if I'm being honest um, and here you can see evidence in the, of it on the in the previous poll as well oh, over here so yeah I'm quickly gonna go repeat that detail this side up I'm gonna have to sort that out no I'm not gonna have this is strange for me now and I think that I'm going to remove this step it's starting to bug me a lot I suppose that's not the worst and now what we can do is we can actually go finish that in that looks better that's the lesser of the two evils so I'm just gonna go ahead with that all right I can see that I did start here with some leave details I'm just going to complete that I know I'm building a lot back and forth, but while I'm building, I'm also thinking about other things. I've noticed that this is quite square and I'm not really fond of that. So we'll add that there and immediately it starts to fix it a bit. So I see Cam has a suggestion um, on the kitchen roof where you place the trap doors. Yes. Remove the first layer of trap doors and place upside down stairs and place the trap doors again upside downstairs so I think I understand what you mean and this is what I refer to as like a bulkhead detail I hope this is what you mean Cam you said my suggestion oh yeah with a delay but looking at this language over here and with the language that we have going here if I invert these it's gonna read as a very nice block so I'm gonna go ahead and do that over here okay cam <laughs> cool, cool, cool. yeah 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 um, who's that in the chat I don't know if that if that's Foster of Worcester Vors, place but yo welcome welcome Either to the way, stream I really feel like that guy as a South African name yeah yeah that's why I don't know if I need to read it as a South African name or not all right Nithish or I hope that's how I pronounce Nithish, or how you pronounce your name um, but welcome to the chat guys just look at this. this is really starting to look phenomenal with the edge here um, popping out like that the wood coming through and the greenery the extremely long horizontal lines it's really looking good oh first uh, <laughs> welcome <laughs> yes we've got a South African in the chat another one Awe Mabru welcome I can I can speak a little Afrikaans but I don't think I want to embarrass myself <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea <laughs> Now uh, guys, uh, welcome. I also just want to remind you that we're trying to keep the chat in English so that everyone just understands for the most part what's going on. Yeah, yeah. appreciate that guys. So what I'm going to do here is that bulkhead detail, bring it through, show some articulation there. Um, and because we've done that there, I think it needs to, it's a language that actually needs to be brought through the entire building. And you'll see what that allows us to do on the inside. Actually, I'm not sure if it's actually ne necessary here. Yeah. Um, 
could well be. We c yeah, you know what? Let's do it. I have an idea for the interior balcons. But to mimic this language. And look how nice this step is working now. So this is where we add this. I still would love Minecraft to bring out concrete slabs and concrete stairs, please. Because then I would be using a gray or a black stair here, which could symbolize a an I-beam or some sort of mild steel member. Just to create a bit of color variation, contrast and so that not everything is so um, not white and bland but yeah yeah we have a bit of an issue we need to resolve that I think that this wall might need to be uh, oof, I really don't know thanks lady lady Sondrea it's a very cool name I think we need to put a pin in this and Come back to it i might just build this in but then the problem is when you walk into the house it's a, it's a wall here but that could be a very nice wall to put like a painting or a table with a plant on um cam is saying where i place the trap doors on the bathroom floor that plain white wall you can add a tall tree with a flower pot this side I th is I think you're talking about this if I'm not mistaken. Um, the outside layer replace grass with dark stone. Cam, okay, I need. Are you talking about this? Because this is moss. He has a grass. Um, is it? Did I read that correctly? Grass. Uh, do you read his first comment where he said uh, we placed the trap doors on the bottom floor that plain white wall you can add a tall tree with a flower pot over here tall tree over here i'm not entirely sure uh, a tall tree with a flower flower pot oh sorry i read bathroom not bottom so here tall tree so what I actually want to do is I want to see where the pool and the patio comes in and then I will start adding trees in. Um, the outside layer replaced the grass with dark stone. I think that Cam is referring to this. So I don't know if he means that we must bring some sort of elements out here like a planter. And then... Um, drop oh, there I have it drop the tree in there and let it punch through so I'm just gonna mark this out one two three four five one two three four five I'm gonna mark this out for now I think that's what Cam is asking but I suppose it might need to be recessed Remember, I would like to have a water feature here and the pool needs to come here. So what I, you know what Cam, I'm going to try and do the pool here and have an island that the tree grows in and the water wraps around over here and then it will go up. But I'm going to leave this here just as a placemaker for now. So we've got this in here. Put this in here to put the kitchen. Did Foster just donate 14 Rand? <laughs> that's the first ever donor. My guy, that's the first ever donation that we've received after over two years of doing this. Thank you so much. <laughs> that's, that's a lot to us, Foster. Thank that, you very much. That, that really does mean a lot to us. Um, Cam, I actually want to create a server. Uh, oof, you know, it's difficult, but I need more money to do that. Um, once I can create a server, I would actually get people on in-game to help build. That's the dream, but the dream needs money. So we keep on grinding and until that time comes, we do what we got to do and 
you know when that time comes we reward everybody that's been here and that's helped us get to where we need to be all right i'm just going to finish this up because it feels like i just <laughs> sorry i was just yeah amazed with the donor i just realized that i have more and grass here and that's not good So this should theoretically be moss and the grass should pop out and now I feel like an idiot. Guys, I just want to say again thank you so much to Force the Place for the, for the donor. Um, apparently they're also trying to be a Minecraft YouTuber so I'm not sure what content you do but guys if you'd like to support someone else, go support them. Check their channel out. You know, spread the love. Spread the love. Spread the love. Anyway, not to get distracted. I think that this greenery might get a bit too much, but I think it needs to be much, much more. Um, so Lady Sandra is asking, um, when you get to the details on the inside, I was thinking maybe a modern day fire pit. Modern day fire pits. Are you... We know that as a sunken boma. Um, would we be putting that on the inside? Well, I think that has potential to be really cool. On the inside though. Yeah, because that's something that I would might want to include in this area here or over here. I feel like it would be really cool if you include that at the pool, so there is like one place where you just chill it. If it was like a realistic kind of thing. Yeah, I hear you. I would definitely do that outside, and we refer to that as a, a, a boma or sunken boma. But she referred, she said um, on the inside, the detailing on the inside. There I are such not. things as um, sunken lounges um, on the yeah, inside as well. Think about how cozy it could be if it's like winter and it's like super cold and you have like a sunken fireplace in your house. Definitely. Well, that's where there are fireplaces to be honest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're just going to finish up the glazing here. We might actually come put detailing over here like bulkheads, shadow lines. I really don't like this. I would, if they could include some sort of tool. I know that in mods you can disconnect. Well, I'm speaking on the correction, but I wish I would just disconnect the, the glaze in there. Guys, excuse the dog in the background. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware, but in South Africa, dogs really love to bark. Not only in South Africa, but it's a common thing here. So I'm going to break this. Remember, I just want the illusion that it would be a glass door. We're going to finish this up here. Forster, again, thanks for the dono. <laughs> You're so kind. You're so generous. Maybe we'll get that server <laughs> sooner <laughs> than we think. <laughs> we really appreciate it. You've got nine dogs. Wow, we've only got two. <laughs> All right, so I want to hide that, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to live with that for now. If you guys have any suggestion on how to fix this, please let me know. Um, I'm quickly going to finish th finish this up here. Just get this out the way. I don't know what to say. The donos, I'm speechless. Um, I was really not expecting anything like that. 
I'm actually just trying to build a sense of community and you know to get something like that really really means a lot to me and to my brother Chip's my brother we are trying to start something together if you guys don't know Chip actually also appears in some of the videos um, and he does most of the editing as well because I work full-time I'm a full-time architect and um, he does the editing for me so or for us let's say it like that so it's a group project here not to get too far into that i'm going to leave this open i think the doors would stack like that and i think the doors would stack like this because this is your your money shot the corner where um, the house is actually living out onto somebody before uh Bishel asked for a garage Oof. i'm gonna have to add a garage i suppose i think it would be here i didn't think of that to be honest I kind of expected that we could do a very cool like a parking area here and I mean somebody who would afford a house like this probably drive like Lambos or Ferraris, Clarins, um, even a, a, model, a Model S. Shout out to Elon again. Come on my guy. We need some, we need some big boy donors here. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just thinking that maybe we could, they could park the cars here on display. But we could add a garage if you really, really want it. Thanks, Jonathan, and welcome to the stream. It's nice to have you on. Thanks, bro, for silencing the dogs. Okay, guys, let's not get too distracted. Um, I don't really, I really want to start with the interior, but I don't want to get uh, <laughs> distracted or carried away with that. So you know what? It's time to do the pool. Let's get stuck into that. Just cleaning out the area here. Guys, something else I really want to ask you. Um, if you know of anybody that would be interested in collabing, please get them to contact me, get them to contact us. Um, I try to reply to every single comment on any post, video, everything that the channel has to offer i really do try to reply to everybody to make everybody feel like part of the marching nation so just drop it drop it there um yeah even in the discord i don't know if you guys are aware that we have a discord um i think chip could link the discord but yeah um if you don't mind bro basically now we need to uh, design the outside here and that's also very important so i'm thinking that you do need some sort of access line from here to the pool so the pool's not directly on the house um and that would be a some sort of deck i'm just guys yeah 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 it sounds like a funny word yeah i know but in <laughs> in our profession it's a, a sun deck or a deck <laughs> it's also a patio i suppose i think i'll refer to it as that term all right so we need to get into building in the patio and then marking out the pool. I also want to do the the sunken boma or fire pit, which I love. I want to do a glass connection between the sunken pit and the pool so that you can see through. I think that's very cool. And I'm not sure, maybe we can incorporate the tree detail here that Cam was asking for earlier. Um, Bishel is asking for a, a fountain in the garden. Well, we need to get a garden. <laughs> we can definitely do a garden. I think that a uh, fountain at the front here could be very cool because we do have a water feature. You know what? I'm just going to add this in here. So we're just going to drop this in. Let's finish this up. done done all right and this is not necessarily a fountain but it's a spout and um yeah we can put a fountain in somewhere i guess could look very cool i definitely think so i love water and greenery that combo all right also something that i noticed that we didn't include is the shadow line so let's quickly pop it in here before we get carried away Gonna be good to forget about that. Just 
this in. Let's connect these bad boys up here quickly. All right. Um, add fish. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> we will add some fish. This is a water feature. This is the aquarium. Bro, this is gonna have lots of fish and turtles and the water is actually gonna be flowing from the top here down and underneath the entrance we will add that soon enough uh, i hope i'm gonna pronounce this correctly but kylie or kylie thank you very much and welcome to the stream it's nice to have you here lily pads cam now you're talking you see what I mean when I'm getting distracted, but you know what, let's add that so that we don't forget. I suppose we should also add the fish in so that we don't forget as well. And maybe some seagrass here as well. I never really know how to add to places. Let's get some fish. That's not how you spell fish. I suppose we're gonna add some tropical fish. I hope they don't despawn. Uh, thanks, bro. Uh, guys, the Discord link is in the chat there. Um, you're welcome to join. Oh my word, I'm gonna eat the freaking fish. You see what happens when I don't pay attention. <laughs> I need to spawn the fish. Some fancy fishies. You know what? Let's get this dim seagrass. Did you guys just see the fish go up? What? We add this in here. Suggestions for anything else while we're busy with this? I'll come back. I know there's a delay in the chat. I really want to finish this as well, but we really need to get this pool area done. I, I want to do the interior quite possibly in the last part so yeah it's important to get this finished um, let's get stuck into the patio and the pool area let's grab that red wool and we are going to continue demarcating the area so theoretically I think it would be nice to have a green belt here and a green belt here but you need to have a connection to the patio somehow. Um, we could have a, a space here, a cavity of some sort, and then have a stepping stone, and then that allows us to add greenery here. I'm glad, Cam. I, I set the latency, um, I tried to set it a bit better. We also play through a VPN because uh, we try to, you know, connect to the international audience, but sometimes i just gotta you gotta do what you gotta do but i'm glad it's sorted out so i think we're just going to have a line like this i'm just going to build this in so i can just picture it all right i really like the idea of having some sort of stepping pad here but now that i think about it we could pot potentially have a, um, a like a, a shallow water feature with a floating stair and then have a it, it, it like flows into the pool and I quite like that but that means that we need to have a line of water then a line of let's just call it the stepping stone like that and then another line of water however this could be the edge of the pool over here could it be theoretically yes if it if we dig down one block, actually one more block, because the water would be on the level below. This would be the water level, and then actually would like to submerge this in there like that. Alright guys, it's time to use the magic tool. So we're going to set it to destroy. And this tool can actually save you so much time. Yeah, especially in this live stream, but I don't want to waste too much time. Um, 
So there would be a space and I would like the stepping stone to be submerged like that. Also, I think that the water would necessarily need to flow over there. So what we're going to do is we're going to drop this by a little quick. And then over here, so you could see the water would flow here and then over. And then this would be the wall of the pool. And then I don't know um, how big we should make the pool. It would be nice if it was lining up with this, but I don't think that's going to work. I think we also need to have the same concept here. So on this level, we bring one up like that, have the sunken stepping stones, and then in line here, that would be the edge of the pool. I think this is a potentially very nice place to have a fountain or some sort of water feature as well. Cam is saying that we can add thin stone block and place it by the glass so it would look like a sliding door. A thin stone block. Do you have... Do you know what that is, bro? Slab. Pardon? Is it like a slab? Like a wall? You can add a thin stone block and place it by the glass so it could look like a sliding door. Oh. You mean something like this so it looks like the handle? While we wait for Cam to reply on that one, I'm going to continue. Just looking at this, if this is going to be the wall and this is the pool, we're looking at one, two. Oh, maybe you maybe you mean something like a track that it slides in, so it would be at the top and at the bottom. Or you referring to the item, something that's stone. Yeah, I was actually thinking about that now. If you put the stairs like in the opposite direction, it kind of inverts it. Like yeah, it would look like a track. We've done that before. It does, it really looks like a track, it does. But now you need to argue, is it better to look good from the inside or from the outside? And taking into account that we have other details, I don't want too much of too many different things. So I think I'm just gonna stick with that bro. Don't, yeah, no, I, I, don't I like hate me. Like <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a cool concept yeah we just need to build it a, a larger scale because then i could step this out have a track in here by the way i'm gonna do a bulkhead detail like this on the inside and i think this is exactly what cam was talking about earlier so we have this language on the inside and then we have this language on the outside so we just need to keep that in mind all right let's not get too carried away we need to have at least i would say a minimum of what five blocks wide one, two, three, four. Let's get the trusty magic tool. Sorry if that's noisy. So it's one, two, three, four, five. And then the pool wall would come here. So this is the edge of the pool, I reckon. And it's, I wouldn't say in the middle. It can't really get in the middle, but it's at the edge of the middle of this element. All right. so. That would theoretically be the pool. We need to get the sunken boma in here or the fire pit. And then we also need to include a um, patio. We are calling it a patio. So if you're going to walk off. Now there's a bit of an issue guys. And I don't think about this now. These stairs are literally walking into the pool. That's not a good idea. <laughs> so... I'm thinking that we should keep one of them but have a space so that you could walk to the patio or the pool needs to read like that but something's telling me the pool needs to read like this and the patio needs to read like this or the pool needs to read like that and the patio needs to read like this Actually, the patio should be here and the pool should be here. The more that I think about it, the more that makes sense. So, unfortunately, I think it's better just to scrap this idea. Just wasted a bunch of time. But we'll make up. I'm just going to finish this. 
watch this. There's this. Oh, darn it. Thanks, Bishal. I really appreciate it, man. Thanks for being part of the stream. All right. Quick question. Patio floor. Are we doing it the same pattern as the dark oak? I think that contrast could look cool, especially with... Um, I don't know what blocker you're thinking about using on the outside and then all the greenery and water and stuff with it. So, I'm thinking that... <laughs> Lady Sandria, yeah, me too. <laughs> if, you're, if you build tutorials and you... You, you um, not stressed for time, but yeah, if you pushed for time, <laughs> it's it's really important to have a, a tool like that up your sleeve. I don't really use it in the tutorials because I try to keep it as vanilla -esque as as possible. But it's uh, I mean now I've exposed my secret here. <laughs> Jeff makes a few cuts in the video editing here and there. Yeah, he works his magic. So I think that the patio could be this big one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't you know that I love that number? We're just going to line this up again. Let's just finish this quickly. This does take a lot of time, but I think in the longer, long term, it's well worth it. So the patio is not raised, normally I, uh, I sometimes like to raise it. I think that what we can do is we can do, yes, this is what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's a great idea. And this is for um, ladies Andrea and Cam. So this is going to be the edge of the patio. This is the patio there, that's the edge of it. I really want to include some sort of tree here, massive tree, double volume, it's going to be great. The sunken boma that needs to come in the corner and i think i'd want to put it in the middle here something like this let's zone it out quick what do you think bro one yeah, two sure. three four five i think it's going to need to be a big boy like that and we'll use these blocks in there definitely gonna use them is it ending there yeah because the water is gonna the water is gonna come around wrap like that and finish there so all of this is gonna be pool it's gonna be the biggest pool I've ever seen in my life it's gonna be the biggest pool I've ever built in my life um, yeah welcome back how did we grow so much in two years? Honestly, it doesn't feel like the channel grew that much in two years. Of, yeah. Um, I can tell you now, one of the strongest tools for growing a channel is probably YouTube Shorts. Yeah. But you have to be very careful with it to actually upload um, content that's still relevant to the main longer video format that you use or make on your channel. Yeah. We kind of uh, damaged our channel. Oh, darn. We kind of damaged our channel a bit with shorts. Um, you need to use them in the right way, like Chipper said. And it's a tricky thing, but it could be very powerful. I think um, what kind of hampers us is our location geographically to a certain extent, but we're not here to complain really. We're just gonna, we told ourselves we're never gonna give up. So, um, also, sorry, one more thing, understanding uh, YouTube's SEO, Google's SEO, um, you know, understanding what to add in your titles and thumbnails and all of that stuff. There's a lot of information out there, but until you find what works for you and what your viewers would like or um, what reaches the viewers that you need to reach, then you will it will start working for you you'll once you reach that point and only you will know when you reach that point um yeah it's it's, it's difficult to explain hey we've yeah, been working can, two years on that. 
If I can elaborate on what Marshy has been saying there, I think one of the most important things is you shouldn't focus on sh trying to get your videos shown to the biggest audience that you can. It's more about get, trying to get your videos shown to the right audience, the audience that actually would be interested in watching your content. Because you'd rather have like 200 people that are really interested in watching your video, it's going to help you with a higher view retention than um, like a thousand people who watch 10% of your video. Uh, I see Cam actually mentioned something before. Um, add dark cobblestone walls on each edge of the, gl the glass going up and down, making it look like a sliding door. So add dark cobblestone walls. Oh, walls. I'm just gonna use, uh, maybe you mean deep slate wall. Yeah. So I'm just gonna grab that. Oh, I think I understand what you mean. Drop it here, so it looks like the edge of it. I understand, so it's like the frame and then you would pull it here to close it. I hear you, that's very cool. I think, I think, I hope I got that right, Cam. Um, Horizon Gaming wants to give us a challenge. You're welcome to give us a challenge. You can also give us some advice, some tips, a request of what you'd like to add into this house. This <laughs> is donating again, guys. That's the third donor of the stream. Thanks so much. <laughs> yes, and Cam's asking the stairs to be flipped. I get that. Um, it looks like a track where the glass actually sits in. I completely get that. Um, however, for this build, I want to keep it that way because I have a lot of other language like that. And it feels, it just flows a bit nicer for me over here. But it's definitely something that I'll keep in mind and use in future builds, definitely. All right, guys, we need to quickly um, need to hurry up, finish this element, and then we'll finish the house in part three. But I just need to finish this. So this will be the patio. This will be the pool. This is the sunken fire pit. And this will just be like a water feature of some sort. So I this is looking a bit um, disjointed. What I think I'd want is I want this part of the pool to be like a, a lower a seated area and the water would flow down into the pool then this is the main pool I'm not sure I'm gonna treat the pool let the edge line up here or here or go past but for now I think I'm just going to let the pool edge line up here and then line up here. so I know I bought it back but we're gonna remove this again All right, so let's get into building the pool very quickly. Let's get that in. All right, so I need this. All right, <laughs> now I'm going back and forth, back and forth. I think that this needs to come forward and it needs to end flush here, if I'm not mistaken. We can change it further down the line. Let's finish it up quickly. What I also need to do is need to keep in mind what this wall is going to look like. And I think down here, we're just going to use normal quartz. Sorry, smooth quartz. Let's use the magic tool and it's on destroy. We're not going to do that. Hey, Neymar, Neymar Jr. Glad you're part of the stream. Welcome. I'm glad you're getting some chilled vibes here. That's what we're all about. Chilled vibes and good times and awesome Minecraft builds. 
All right, so, um, sorry, Cam said instead of deep slate, I think fence going up and down would would work better. Maybe, maybe it would connect. Oh, it's a fence here. Well, you know, it's all about learning. I'm just gonna grab the oak fence. Got these lily pads there. Uh, it's not connecting. I don't recall it connecting. It looks like a uh, post now. Um, thanks, Bishal. Appreciate it. Yeah, we're working hard, trying not to waste too much time here. Um, Want to get ahead and actually have something done. All right. So, what we need to do now is excavate. I think one or two more layers. Get this out for the pool. So the pool edge would be here. I like finishing it with a, with uh, snow. So we have a detail that I love using, and that is a shadow line like this. I'll explain a bit more. We're actually busy working on a pool tutorial for you guys to follow as well. That will be uploaded next week, hopefully sometime. So that will be the shadow line over here. I don't think I'm going to wrap it. This is going to be the finish the side. So we're just going to close that up, finish that up there and pull this through. Then if this is the floor layer there, we need two blocks. We need to excavate one more layer. I'm going to try and make this super quick for you guys. Let's fill in this portion as well. We could theoretically uh, line up the, um, connect the aquarium, could we? Underneath here, yeah, but then we're going to have fishes in our swing pool. I'm, I don't know how great that's going to be. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up this language over here. And I think that we used Prismarine. Let's just take a shortcut through the house. I'm going to grab some Prismarine. Do we have some in our inventory yet? Not a block. So I'm going to grab that. Chop this out. And then start bringing this bad boy in. Another thing, before we do that, let's, let's fold these walls in. I, I see there's some chat going on. I'll reply to that in a second. Okay, there's a bunch of holes in this going on in chat. Remember guys, this I want some sort of shallow pool and I want to do that uh, island where we're going to have a tree going up there. So for now, we're just going to build a pool uh, like normal. We fill this in. You know what, I'm thinking that this might actually need to be calcite. So what we're going to do is we... Before, you know what, let me just look at the chat. Um, also loves the Japanese temple build. Um, oh, only on Bedrock. Yeah, sorry Cam, we are on Java over here. Not Bedrock. So I'm gonna use um, our nifty tool here. Bam, done. All right, we finished the edge. I guess you can see what I'm going to do now. I really love this. Um, calcite. Look how beautiful calcite looks. I love it. So we just finish it like this. Don't worry, we're still going to add some light lighting here. We'll definitely add some lighting. So we actually need to bring in this floor up here as well, I would say. Because I would like the water to flow from here down there. What I'm going to do is to finish this off nicely. I think I want to do a step like this. Um, I don't think water against timber is the best of ideas. Let's just so remove this. Bring this in here. And oh, sorry. so we're going to get water flowing over. So this becomes some sort of like a, a little step where you can come sit here. Um, Forster is asking for a hot tub. We could add a hot tub. 
we could hey i don't know whether it's be space but we might find space for our tub i have a, an idea of how to build one as well i've never built one before um campfires underneath to stimulate oh sorry to simulate the smoke okay yeah sounds like a good idea um cam is asking cam is asking for marble texture on the floor oh i should have looked at that earlier can't we stick with the prismarine on the floor and the marble on the wall please <laughs> next time we do a different detail like that um the walls call site got that um all right <laughs> cam reading your mind uh thanks ladies andrea um guys thank you so much for being part of the stream you have no idea how much it means to me all right so i think we need to finish this up we do this and then we bring the shadow line detail all the way through. i'm gonna have to dig that out there as well and i think that we need to finish it the same way here like that you know what let's take it back like, like, like this and we're gonna have to bring the material down because you see that with the cuts out right let's do that i'm gonna mimic, the, mimic this detail for this entire level however we need to bring in some sort of um planted detail for a tree with the deep slate tiles I'm not sure I'm gonna do that to be honest but one two three four five six seven eight nine one two three four boom that's the middle I'm thinking that the tree should actually be in the middle of this like that I'm not sure how that's gonna look but it was a request and we're definitely gonna go with it so with that being said let's get the nifty tool quick and we need to change this to destroy let's get this out there get that out like that i suppose i can start digging this out i hope i don't break anything i've built You're very good at using that tool. I've had, I've had a lot of practice with this tool, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right. Bishal uh, also says you should use sea lanterns. Sea lanterns, yes, sir. Bishal, we're definitely going to use sea lanterns. I'm going to show you what detail we want to use here. Um, this wall, now that I think about it. I think Cam did say the wall needs to be calcite. I don't know why I didn't build this wall as calcite just so now you decide not to use the tool darn it yes the brain thanks for reminding me are we at placing or destroying easy let's bring this through Also, now we need to remember where the calcite needs to go. Everywhere. My OCD is getting the best of me now. So, we need to bring this wall up one more. Like that. I'm just going to bring this through, guys. Just to keep me and check with this side now what we need to do is we need to finish this in here if i'm not mistaken the water is going to be on this level so this is actually perfect there you'll see now this should technically be coal site but you don't see that so that's fine this is going to be sunken in now this is going to be glass 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 and i think i need to build that in so long you guys will see what we are going to do here i think it's going to look amazing this is the idea of lady lady sandria's um uh, 
fun the sunken fire pit. I try to say that those words <laughs> as one word. Inventing new languages, you know. Alright, so this is not gonna be um that's not gonna be lost. My apologies. I think it would be something like this. I think I also need to incorporate some sort of stone along the line. Look how nicely this is gonna line up here. Yeah. That really works for me. Just like, not like that, sorry, like that. That's nice closed up. Cool, this is gonna be glass. And I might actually sink this down one more block. Um, so Cam is asking for sea lanterns in the wall. Um, sea levels, sea leaves inside the pool. So I quickly just want to finish this and then I want to show you guys the sea lanterns or the lighting idea that I have. I suppose this can be finished. That doesn't really matter much. Oh, this is driving me crazy. Alright. We're just gonna drop in some dirt, yeah. Not even dirt, do we have some grass? Let's get rid of this. Let's pop this up here. And we have double regular, that's fantastic. So that's where our tree is gonna grow. This is all gonna be water. And I think I would like to have stepping stones from here out through so you can walk out that way. Um, this is gonna be sunken boma. Now we need to have a wall here. And I think it needs to be calcite. What do you guys think? Bro, what do you think? Walls need to be calcite. Yeah, I think just stick with it. Go with it. Keep it consistent. Shadow walls outside the pool. Shadow walls outside the pool. Um, Cam's asking for shadow walls outside the pool. Wait, never mind. You did it already. Yeah, yeah. Please. So theoretically, what I need to do is to create that um, step. We need to add some snow. Be very careful not to add lighting close to snow or else it will melt. This so is true. We've learned the hard way with that. Alright, there's that. And what I what I additionally like to add is a path. But I don't know if that's necessary. Oh bro, I was waiting for that path. I thought that it was gonna be so satisfying. The path? Yeah. It's just gonna finish it off so well. Just look at this. Alright, before we forget, we need to do the sunken boma. And then we need to do lighting. Hey, there are three little bits. Sorry, it distracted me to keep <laughs> concentrated. So, I think that I would like to do a stone floor here. Is this sunken or should it go down one more? It needs to go down more. Why? Because we need to add seating, I'd say. I think. Thanks, Foster. Oh, Cam thinks ice would work better here than the green block. I've never even thought about ice, if I'm being honest. Blue ice, packed ice, or ice? That's actually a great idea. Probably blue ice, because that's quite... Oh, come on. That's quite trans... It's quite transparent. The packed ice is better. Not gonna lie, that looks way better. Ooh, your feet are gonna get cold in there. <laughs> if it's a heated pool. Cam, you know what? Um, for now, I'm gonna leave this here because we've done it everywhere else, not over there. But the next build, I'll def the next build, I'll definitely use the packed ice. Um, thanks, Watch, I really appreciate it. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, yes, one more, most definitely. I want to add some seating. Oh my god, my building is all over the show. Alright, so I think that I would like this as the floor.
like that and then we need to bring seating down okay good thanks Cam we need to bring seating so I don't know what to use as seating here but it can't necessarily be uh, caught smooth caught so what other stair options do we don't you want to use maybe like stone stairs and then use the log detail for um, the floor yeah. yeah yeah because do we have the stairs out no. let's grab it good idea bro let's check what it looks like um well uh, there's pros and cons to it hey? see this is this would be your seating like that then you need to have access in so your seating might need to do this but now there's like a very high step there which i don't like so there's gonna be some sort of break here something like this and then you're gonna need this like this as stairs to come in this closed I'm not I don't like what's happening there if I'm being completely honest it's closing it off you can't move the stairs back one block oh then it's gonna mess with that detail so next up we're doing this detail then Or what we are do what we can do is this and invert the detail there, yes. Because this is part of the pool. Like that. Yes, part of the pool. Sorry my bad. I messed that up as well. Stream's been going on for quite some time. This detail's like that. We finish it off with the block there, finish it off with the block there. Yep, we keep this like that as stairs to get in here. I'll be okay with that. Finish these stairs in here. We need to finish the floor. I don't know what to do for the floor. Um, you don't want to use the logs again? No, no, no. I don't want to use the logs. There's going to be a fire there. I'm thinking about smooth stone. Look nice and light. Yeah, it can create a cool pattern. So it's, yeah, something like that. And then we need a fireplace. Is it called a fireplace? Campfire. And says smooth deep slate. That might match the whole fiery thing. I like it a lot. Smooth deep slate. I'm trying to find it. Do you even get something called smooth deep slate? Oh, I think it's smooth blackstone. Well, La Lady Sandrea likes it the way that we've done it. Polished. Polished. So not deep. Uh, yeah. All right. We're gonna try this because we've already got it. The reason why I like this is because this stone flows into that there, but we try to accommodate everybody. Not gonna lie, I like that as well. Campfire, there's your sunken fire pit at the pool with glass to see through. Last but not least, do we have some sea lanterns here? it concrete yo I have no idea how to pronounce your name I don't know if it's cat or yacht or yacht. I don't even know if I'm gonna swear but Simpkins <laughs> welcome to the stream okay cool cool cool, cool. Um, if I'm gonna be honest I think that would look nicer here as well because the it's just getting very busy with the texture of the prismarine and that. I like that more. 
what I'm working on now is basically just the pool. I'm going to finish it off and then that's the end of the stream. Basically what I want to do is I want to put the sea lanterns into the walls and maybe into the floors. I'm not sure how that's going to work. But we first we're going to see how the spacing works in the wall. So if I'm going to put it in the wall there, one, two, that would be the spacing. And now we just need to um, pace it out. We'll just use this. So let's look if um, spaces of three blocks would work. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two. Th oh, wow. Look at that. So basically what I want to do is I want to put it in the floor. Let's group these a lot easier and then what I want to do is I want to put the stair like that but I don't know if there's going to be enough lighting coming through so what I do would like what I'd like to add is um, maybe just a bit of it into the floor like that Just for now we'll see what it looks like and then I can replace these again let's finish this off and then that will be like that that will be like that that and that just like this and then we just pop this in here like that like this like this thanks lady all right let's get this going what I actually want to do is I want to do it here as well. Get this in like that. Get this in like that. And then obviously rinse and repeat this side. Let's just get these in as place markers. I can actually hear the campfire in the background. It's so soothing. It's weird working on a swimming pool and then hearing a campfire in the background. Right, and then we just pop this in there and then we finish this up like this oh, must click another must click it's been a long day all right drop this in there we're almost done and then last but not last but not least put that in there I quite like this if I'm being honest this is starting to look like a runway <laughs> And I might take that out, but with water in, it does change a bit what it looks like. Calcite stairs. Cam, I think we need to make a list of all of the things Minecraft needs to add. Because that's definitely something that could look amazing. I feel like this needs to get some lighting. I just want to finish the path over down. Let's get some stairs. I like... Oh, sorry, the slabs. What I do like is I like... Uh, Putting it in the le uh, the level of the water. I don't know if that makes sense. So it's not popping up. It feels like it's sunken in. I'm not sure I'm gonna get this to look right, but the person might just have to hop this thing. <laughs> that step. All right. So we just need to kind of get lighting in. Not sure I'm gonna get lighting in here. That's create light. That's creating lighting. We actually need to add lighting in here as well. I think I might just add it. Oh, you know what? It's gonna melt the snow. It's melt the snow. So I might not do that. You know, I have a better idea. Let's pop it underneath these. So it illuminates that. I'm not a big fan of that, but it needs to be done. All right, and then what we need to do is remove this because this obviously didn't materialize. <laughs> but we need to build in some sort of um, water feature over here. And for Chip, my brother's sake, let's get a shovel and yeah. build in that much desired. And there we go. 
I think that we've made a lot of progress. It helped that that was set up, but guys, I am really impressed with this. This is by far probably the best build I've ever done, ever done in Minecraft, if I'm being honest. It's um, very well refined, detailed. It's got a lot going on. I've learned a lot building this. We're not done yet. Please stay tuned for part three. Um, and then hopefully we'll finish this entire thing up in part three. I see on that note, Cam's asking we could remove the sea lanterns in the wall and keep the ones in the middle and put the lanterns one block down with iron trapped. I hear you Cam, I hear you. Um, I think just drop it and put the iron door so that you don't directly see the lantern. You know what, while we're busy with that, let's quickly get it done. If I'm not mistaken, I think Cam is saying this. I quite like this. I'll have it. I'll, I'll sleep. I'll sleep on it, Cam. <laughs> but I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for the love and support, for the donors, for all the new people in the channel. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in and being part of the stream and helping me design this house. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys had a good time. And until next time, stay safe and uh, stay awesome. Mochi out.